you spoke about the actually stunning protein requirements just to keep us at our baseline function. So let's say then we add some weight training on top of that. We become a runner. How does that influence the protein that we'll need to consume to kind of maintain those just baseline metabolic processes? One of the things I'd like to people to think about is the protein needs relative to exercise is a U-shaped curve. So we think about athletes uh, needing more protein. We think about bodybuilders needing more because of mass, a little bit. You mentioned runners. What we know is that aerobic exercise running burns about 10 grams of amino acids per hour. So there's definitely a higher need with exercise. But at the other end of the curve, back to that mTOR story, uh, there's an interaction between protein and exercise. Uh, exercise actually potentiates the system. It makes it more sensitive to the amino acids you're eating. And so people who are totally sedentary actually need more protein than somebody who's somewhat physically active. So being moderately physically active actually makes your body more sensitive to the protein you're eating. So the worst of all worlds would be a 65, 70 year old person who chooses to be sedentary and is overweight because we know all of those things decrease your efficiency of protein use. That's probably the definition of the person who needs the most protein. 